In this video, we're going to look at cost output elasticity. What is it? How to calculate it? And do some numerical examples. So the definition is cost output elasticity measures the percentage change in total cost from a 1% increase in the firm's output, sometimes called output elasticity of total cost. And here is the formula for the cost output elasticity. We're going to take the derivative of the total cost equation with respect to output, and then we're going to multiply it by output divided by the total cost. This first component here, the derivative of total cost with respect to output, is just marginal cost. So if we want, we can make a substitution there. And one thing to note, average cost is total cost divided by Q. So in this formula here, we have 1 over average cost. So we could also write the cost output elasticity as a ratio of marginal cost to average cost. So these are equivalent. So let's use that last formulation here and go through a few cases. If marginal cost is greater than average cost, then the cost output elasticity will exceed 1. So in other words, if you increase output by 1%, the firm's total cost will rise by more than 1%, maybe 1.5%, 2%. Case 2, if marginal cost equals average cost, then the cost output elasticity is exactly 1. So increasing output by 1% causes total cost to rise by 1%. And finally, case three, if marginal cost is less than average cost, we're going to get a coefficient that is less than one. And in this case, increasing output by 1% causes total cost to rise by less than 1%. And now some numerical examples. So here's our total cost equation. First thing we'll do is take the derivative of it. And the derivative of 40 plus 2q is 2, which I have written down here. Then I'm just going to rewrite the Q from the formula. And then for TC, total cost, I'm going to substitute in the total cost equation, 40 plus 2Q. And just moving some things around, we get this. And if we want, we can divide the numerator and denominator through by 2, and we get the following result. This will always be less than 1. One thing to note here is that marginal cost is 2 the derivative of the total cost equation, that's 2. And average cost is the total cost equation divided through by Q. So using our other formulation, marginal cost over average cost is the cost output elasticity. Making our substitutions here, marginal cost, average cost, and then multiplying everything through by Q, the denominator and numerator, in other words, you get 2Q divided by 40 plus 2q, which is exactly what we had in this intermediate step right here. Uh, example 2, total cost equals 5q. Marginal cost is 5. Derivative of the total cost equation, we get 5. We have q, just going to leave that alone. And then for total cost, we're going to plug in 5q. And this will just simplify very nicely to 1. And then problem 3. Slightly more complicated total cost equation. First, we get the derivative of total cost out in front. So we get 5 plus q. That's going to be multiplied by q divided by total cost. Making our substitution for total cost, we have the following. And then 5 plus q multiplied by q gives us our numerator result now. And here, if q equals 4, if q happened to equal 4, then the cost output elasticity would equal 1. If q is less than 4, then the cost output elasticity would be less than 1. And finally, if q is greater than 4, the cost output elasticity will be greater than 1. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you found it useful.